Hi, Tom here from Green Engine Recording. I found this old pedal, and I thought it'd be cool to hook it up, but then I saw I had the old 3.5mm jack power input, and I got in trouble last time I took the 9 volt battery out of a smoke alarm, so I thought there must be a way to adapt this to use a standard 2.1mm supply. After figuring it out, I realised there must be lots of other people who want to do the same thing, so I made a video about it. I had a look online, and I found this two-pronged socket. If I wanted the option of keeping the battery, I'd need a switching three-prong version, like in this pedal, where the battery gets disconnected when something is plugged into the socket. But who wants to keep changing batteries? So for me a two-prong was completely fine. You also want to make sure it doesn't have metal touching the case, or you could short your pedal's power and it won't work. This old pedal actually says AC on it, so unlike this boss pedal here, it'll want to see the positive running on the sleeve. So these two are actually wired opposite. Now we're going to unscrew the case. So take a note of where our wires are soldered right now. That was our positive, and here comes the negative. We're going to take off this battery connector. Drill the pedal case to fit the new switch. I need an 8mm HSS bit. Now as we drill this we want to be very careful we don't damage the circuit board, so I'm going to be really careful when we get to the end. And there's a hole, so now we'll put the new socket in. Solder the new socket, positive goes to the tip, while negative is where the black or blue lead from the battery is connected. I like to tin the contacts first. One of these pins is longer than the other, the longer one is the sleeve. But seeing as this is an AC pedal, we need to flip the positive in the sleeve. Put it all back together and you're good to go. There, that looks much better. I also did this old grunge pedal as well. Grunge! Happy gigging.